You're watching continuing coverage of the World Health Care Congress 2012, and I'm very pleased to welcome Dr. Alan Mooney, who is with Cigna. You've taken on a new job over there at the ch as Chief Medical Officer right. of Cigna. Congratulations. You. Have you found that coming from another organization and joining this one, you have a unique perspective on the industry as a whole? Yes, I, actually, I most recently came uh, from the employer side, if you will, uh, having um, put together a group purchasing organization on behalf of employers. So that perspective was uh, very unique coming into and bringing the needs of that into the dialogue um, at the health plan. Yes, and do you find that your, your thought processes have changed a little bit on what is needed in health care reform? I, th I think uh, it's clarified that we have to move from volume to value and the uh, employers uh, really want um, the value driven through the system. They're paying a lot for health care. Uh, they're willing to lean in around different um, payment models in terms of paying for quality but they also want medical costs lowered. Right. I, I think uh, they are very uh, f uh, focused on not just adding more money to the system. And so um, that focus on what the employers want and what the health plan actually can deliver in terms of payment models and contracting and partnership with uh, a physician and hospital organizations is really the key to moving from volume to value. Right, so what is the middle ground? Uh, because those are completely two different schools of thought. So what do you think, where do they have to meet on this? I think the changes we're seeing now in the delivery system where uh, physicians are joining with physicians, hospitals are acquiring physicians, all has to center around that movement from uh, volume to value. And so where I think it settles is around what are the critical enablers of improving quality and lowering medical costs within that system. Uh, any thoughts on what that would be? What are the critical enablers? The, the critical enablers are uh, a partnership, for example, with the health plan where uh, we partner around the data that we have uh, with the physician groups, for example, to execute on trying to close gaps in care that uh, if they remain um, uh, not clo um, closed, they, they uh, end up costing more money um, in terms of um, not managing chronic illness well. So the better we partner on data, the better we partner on um, uh, our health management programs uh, that we can deliver with uh, uh, the physician groups. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's how we really focus on delivering that value. Will patients on the ground notice any of these changes that are, are happening internally? Or is it too soon? I think that ideally uh, we are focused on the triple aim, both as the health plan and with the uh, physician and hospital partners and the triple aim is lowering medical cost, improving quality and improving the patient experience. So from the point of view in which the patient experiences better coordination of care, um, uh, better communication with uh, case managers within both the physician group and potentially the health plan, uh, they may experience uh, lower costs, they may uh, feel um, less out of their pocket um, because that care is being coordinated uh, and ultimately that delivers a better experience in terms of affordability and quality. Are you encouraged by some of the changes we've already seen since the law was passed in 2010? You know it's interesting uh, we certainly have been involved in the, the um, patient-centered medical home and um, uh, care coordination before the law. I think the law has put a spotlight on it, but regardless of what happens to the law, I think the delivery system uh, changes are going to continue and they will be centered around this uh, better care coordination and the triple aim. Mm -hmm. and, and you find that organizations are working together to, uh, to get these ACOs together before the deadline and, and or before 
what the anticipated deadline would be? Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of activity. I don't think anybody's really looking at the deadline specifically because it actually takes readiness of both parties and people are on different journeys in terms of that timeline. Uh, but we are not only seeing uh, people ready, but as I said, we've, we've been partnering uh, with these groups for a while and we are seeing changes already in, that are positive. We are seeing groups that are lowering medical costs, improving quality, um, and it's exactly on a scaled um, ability to scale that in the delivery system is, is what we really need. Okay. Well, thank you for your insight. My we pleasure. Really appreciate it, Dr. My Lane. pleasure. I'm Abel Jong. Thanks for watching.